It's all integrated hands-on learning. Fast pace in the kitchen. But either one will work. Why would you not want to use red onion? This is fast pace, looks fast pace, should be just like that in a real restaurant. A few students are going to shoot off this 40 millimeter with a less lethal round. Instead of like just sitting in the classroom, you're actually getting hands-on experience to see if this is something you really want to do. It's a great experience to have these lab cars in here and be able to work on them and it's like basically a working shop. It's really useful. Instead of just knowing it, you get to apply it to something. Coming into a hospital is a lot different than going into the classroom. It just shows me what the real world is like. So being able to practice here and practice on each other gets them comfortable. So when they walk into a patient's room, they're confident about what they're doing. You need to know what that sounds like. It's giving me a little bit of an entrepreneurship look at it, as well as marketing and management, sales, things like that, so that I can kind of go from there and see what I like and what I don't. I chose to take this course because I'm going to trade school to learn how to weld, and I wanted a head start on welding. I plan to go to a technical school after this and carry on with construction and go into solar energy. <laughs> the students really appreciate the class sizes. It's a little smaller than maybe their traditional high schools, but also being in classes with like-minded students. We all know different quirks and different things about each other, which is really nice, and to be able to have that friendship. And we all want the same thing, so we're all able to work together. You have to practice it and practice it and practice it. Like this now, when we first did it, we didn't know what to do. We read about it, and it was when we come out here like days like this to actually do it is when we learn. We try to teach 21st century work ethic skills. That's what the industry needs. My class is uh, 15 to 18 students. Anything else of concern? Anything? And I break those students down into small groups and call them teams. These people are like my family. They are my friends and it's just nice having that interaction and being able to talk about what we did last night or about our career field. If I don't understand something, I might ask one of the people next to me. I might be able to ask someone across the room. That's something that we all help each other learn and it's kind of a better environment for us all. I can't even find them. Students here are not spoon-fed. They're not just given the answers. They're not told step by step how to do a lab. They're working their way through it. It's that productive struggle. Okay, so what are we missing? And you know, if we're having problems, sometimes she says, don't ask me, you know, ask like four other people before you come to me. Because you don't go to your boss all the time when you have questions about the work. Sometimes they expect you to be able to figure it out on your own. This learning environment is nothing like any learning environment I've ever been in. It's hard work and a lot of training, and usually you don't combine those two with school. I'm only in my junior year, and I think I found my calling. I want to be a hairdresser and a nail technician. I want to open my own salon, so this will help me prepare for what's going to happen in the future. Because when you come into this class, you're welcomed to express yourself and use all the creativity you have. No matter what their career is, they need to be prepared. Good work ethics, good technical skills, good academic skills, that's going to help them be successful in that next step. No matter what it is, be successful. Being here, everyone is so inviting and it actually like invests in you and like cares about you and I feel like that that really helps.